bottoms. They endure a type of shaming for their sexual preference, their roles in the queer community reduced to just being a receptacle. But science has proven them to be an incredibly resilient subspecies of homosexual. The world is going to end. But who will be here when it does? Will it be the bottoms? Will they be able to coexist with each other? And where will they find new sources of protein? Let's talk about it. I'm Rob Anderson, and this is Gay Science. Queer phenomenons have existed since the beginning of the observable universe. Now we're using real science and super true facts to understand how overwhelmingly homosexual our world really is. Join me in looking at different branches of science to discover what's gay and what's gayer. Remember to subscribe, it's homophobic not to. And welcome to Gay Science. In today's episode, will bottoms survive the apocalypse? There have been five major mass extinctions and we're currently living in the sixth one, the heterogene extinction. Though we've tried to reverse the course, it's too late. There's been too much man-made heterosexual activity and it's made our animals and living species so uncomfortable they're offing themselves at an alarming rate. This lack of biodiversity will kill humans soon enough, but not all at once. Based on research at the Grammatica Institute's Queer Catastrophe and Calaticism Center, researchers have established which subspecies of gay people are more likely to survive the impending Armageddon. This is the gay order of extinction. First, let's be clear, the lesbians will have already left Earth. The first gay people to die are the log cabin gays. They probably caused this mess, and in a lot of ways, they're dead already. And the very last to die will be the bottoms. In multiple simulations, bottoms survived a mass extinction 99.8% of the time. Those other times, they died from thirst, even though they had plenty of water? Let's explore three qualities that make them fit for survival. They're prepared prepared and resourceful. You can spot a bottom from their signature backpack. A bottom always has a backpack. Whether they're feeding the meter or here for a quickie, why the whole damn bag? You'll find them carrying everything a bottom needs. Gum, sunscreen, face sunscreen, vitamins, an extra charge for their phone, a random playbill, and the bus schedule because their car's in the shop. And inside that backpack is another drawstring backpack in case he's going somewhere fit for the occasion. That will have things like a Bluetooth speaker, mints, chapstick, chapstick with SPF. And how did another playbill get in here? Also inside that drawstring bag is a dop kit. In that kit, you'll find breath spray, an extra large science pipette, more vitamins, Vaseline, and a journal, which will keep them in touch with dates, facts, and memories. Inside that might be a fanny pack for a party occasion with different mints, a room motorizer, mouthwash, science vials, and cash in multiple currencies. He might even have a smaller dop kit inside with different mints, a tiny spoon for sugar, and preparation H. Bottoms also carry at least three different candles with different scents depending on his mood. They don't need to carry matches or a lighter because they can always light a fire with the friction from their scar tissue. Another helpful trait for the end of the world. Their physical fitness also makes them great candidates for survival. Since development, bottoms have been rehearsing soft choreography for music videos in their own homes. This soft choreo works very specific muscle groups that are perfect in a doomsday scenario. The Dua Lipa twist works the hip flexors. This assists in moving through fallen debris, cracks, and crevices. The Lohan Illuminati hands signal bottom status, so groups can stick together and ditch the tops to survive. The Hillary Duff shield prepares the forearms. It prevents foreign debris from entering the eyes caused by unpredicted wind. The Mandy Moore hard lip sync works every single muscle of the face, which helps with nonverbal communication communication when evading the AI regimes which now control the planet. The Avril Thumb Diss is useful when you need to tell the competing bottom scavengers to scoot it, this is our territory. And the Jessica Simpson Arm Toss works the elbow joints, but more importantly, they remind survivors of Jessica Simpson, which gives them the mental strength to continue on. Finally, bottoms are most likely to survive the inevitable Armageddon because they have the highest completion rate of the Gay Scouts program, an institution that's over 100 years old that teaches homosexual men how to live their best lives and avoid the threat of heterosexuality. Most bottoms have achieved the highest rank from piglet to daddy and have earned the essential merit badges that would help them in a disaster. Badges like emergency preparedness, which help with getting clean in a non-traditional setting, and what to do during a nude leak. The bear culture badge teaches them how to identify bears and set effective traps so they can easily catch them with bait. The wildlife badge helps gay men spot internet catfish from a mile away. To earn the citizenship in a gay city badge, a scout must complete the homo metro calculator in the gay scouts handbook. More points are provided to different factors that make their city gay, and they must have a qualifying score. The badge for bottom Bottom on bottom crime prevention. If you see something, say something. Surviving heterosexual situations like sports and straight weddings. Other badges include masking your homosexuality for different audiences, utilizing gaydar, open relationship navigation, and the merit badge for cum, including cum management and cum first aid. It's why bottoms can take all the negative tweets in stride. They know they will outlive you. If you're thinking a bottom is overpacking or brought unnecessary things, actually, no, that's not the truth, Ellen. They're just prepared for the apocalypse. That is our episode. I was having so much fun, I just made the whole Gay Scouts handbook. <laughs> it's 40 pages of absolute nonsense, and it is on Amazon paperback and ebook. Thank you to Kyle Krieger for helping me out with this episode, and Jesse Shambliss for doing incredible research on soft choreography. I uh, would check out his TikToks, they're great. Okay, see ya. <laughs>